like this. Let's see if it says how much is in there. 50 mils. So it, a little goes a long way. Um, if you've used any gilding flakes, Aurora flakes, um, it's, it's a very thin, very light, airy um, material. If you breathe too heavy or honestly, like if you blink the wrong way, um, these little pieces go everywhere. Um, so you definitely want to do this. Like I have my vacuum beside me. I go rinse it off. Like I go, not rinse, but like rub the excess off usually in my sink once I get to the very end, just cause like there's no way to contain these little flakes. Um, but they're so sparkly and so shiny and pretty. So very much worth the mess that they provide. Um, but regardless, they are messy. So fair warning, don't do this, you know, if you have people coming over right after or something like that, because it will take you a while to get these flakes out of your life. All right, so here is one example of an application using those Aurora flakes. The light is providing quite the glare. Um, so this one, what I've done is I have taken a piece of paper that I die cut. I just like found a die online that had like the Moroccan pattern. So I cut out an outline of it with my silhouette machine. And then I took that same Moroccan pattern and I cut it out using the silhouette little um, double-sided adhesive eight and a half by 11 sheets. And so I cut out that same insert that fits the same shape as this die cut. So you can see it would fit right in there. And that's just a double-sided piece of adhesive. Um, so I've cut this outline and I've cut infills of double-sided adhesive that fit in there exactly. And then I've just glued that die cut onto a black piece of paper. And then just pick and choose, you know, which spots I want. And I could go in again, like once I've done these purple ones, I could go in again, pick some new spots and do blue or green or whatever. I've just only done the purple. But I just pick some squares and put the double-sided adhesive. And then I'll show you in a minute how you go ahead and apply the Aurora Flakes. But you would peel, because this adhesive is a double-sided adhesive, you peel the backing off and then you can stick it down. So now it's like, it's stuck down in place. And then because it's a double-sided adhesive, I can also peel the front off and now it is like a, a sticky. So this is going to stick. Even if you wanted to use this technique with glitter or embossing powder or something like that, you could as well, because it's just double-sided stick now. So that will stick anything. You could use foil. Um, but in this example, in this instance for today, I'm gonna show you it using um, the Aurora Flakes, the Cosmic Shimmer Aurora Flakes. So that's one sort of finished little project you can create using these products. There's also this one I did, same thing. It was just like a little black piece of paper. Now I use this silhouette. This is the double-sided eight and a half by 11 sheets of um, double-sided adhesive again by silhouette. This time I just cut it to the exact same size as my black paper, um, which is a three and a quarter, three and three quarters by three and three quarters square. And then I just stuck the whole sheet down. So I now have a black mounted, double-sided, um, not double-sided, but sticky full sheet. And so then I took the gilding flakes and I completely covered. So I took one half in one color and one half in another color um, and burnished that away and then glued those letters on. So I'll, again, I'll show you the process, but that's another example where you can just glue a whole entire surface using this technique and make like a really pretty sort of ombre background metallic card. The shot, the glare is awful. So that's another example. And then this is the one that I'm working on and I'm gonna show you how I completed this project. So I've cut a little die cut and now I'm using score tape rather than the sheets of double-sided adhesive. I'm using score tape strips to get different colors down each section of this pattern. So I've got purple down this piece and I've got blue down here and now I'm gonna put green down the center and I just use the 5 8 inch 
score tape to fit down these strips. And you can see that I have two strips of score tape here, so I'm gonna peel them back so that I have just like a sticky surface showing now. And this is where the mess begins. So, let's adjust my camera. Okay. I did purple on the outside, blue in the middle, so now I'm gonna go with green. And you'll see as soon as I touch it, just how light and fluffy and airy and messy it is. So I'm being very gentle with how I move it around on my project because it is so messy and I just don't want glitter everywhere. All right, so once I have, like I can feel with my finger, there's no more adhesive showing once you've covered all the adhesive if you haven't if you didn't pinch enough out of your jar you can go back and grab more um, but you'll just keep on sort of moving those little flakes around until you can feel that there's no adhesive left there's no sticky elements facing up and once you've done that if you have a burnishing tool of some kind like i've used even before like those rubber stamp cleaner mats because they're not going to scratch your um, surface. If you have a tool like that or like a really light sanding block, you can go ahead and burnish them with that. We have them at the store that I completely forgot to bring home with me. So I'm getting really fancy and I'm just using the back of my nail now. Um, and I'm just gonna scratch away the excess flakes. So you would use like probably a proper tool from your craft space. But I forgot mine at the store, so I'm gonna use the back of my nail. And all that I'm doing right now, the purpose of this, is just to get rid of the excess because these flakes, again, they're so light and so fluffy that if even the smallest bit of like this, let's say like this flake here stuck onto your adhesive, but only one itty bitty little corner, that whole piece is gonna be stuck on there. So you need to go with something soft but um, something that's gonna rub up against it and break the rest of that flake off so that only the piece that's actually stuck to the score tape or whatever adhesive you chose to use, only that part of it is going to stick. So once you've done that, you can sort of brush the excess away loosely with your hand just to clean up the excess. I like to, I'm cheap, so I really like to save as much of it as I can. So once you've brushed most of the excess off of your project, I like to try and pile it up and get it back in my jar so I can use it again later. So I'm just gonna do that. Obviously, I'm not gonna be able to save every little bit. There's little flakes flying everywhere. So I have to accept that I'm going to lose some of it, but I get what I can back in the jar. Pro tip, then you shut the jar just in case you accidentally sneeze while you do the rest of your project. So jar is shut. I've got as much as I can put away then what I do normally, I'm just one second here. Normally, I would do this over my sink or if you have, you know, like a big surface that you can clean easily because um, now rubbing the excess off, it sort of flies everywhere. But I just take a dry paper towel after and wipe the extra away. And this like really brightens up the image again like it gets the color when you burnish it it kind of dulls the color a little bit but then you wipe the excess away and it brightens it right up and gets any little flakes that were stuck on the rest of your project off i definitely suggest a dry i've tried with like a damp cloth before and it doesn't do anything except for make the flakes stick more because these flakes are so light and airy that even wet paper is enough to adhere the little fragments onto the project. So once you've done that, you can see it's sort of, oh, that glare is so bad. And now I've got that final layer on. So I'm gonna just move this mess off to the side to clean up after everybody's not watching me. And then I would take my die cut that I had sized out and I would lay it over top and glue it down. And then you have like a cute multicolored 
really shimmery, metallic-y, beautiful um, background for a card, or you could put this on a layout or a tag. I don't know if that's translating with the glare, but that is how you use the Aurora Gilding Flakes. And again, because like I mentioned that these are so light um, and so easy to adhere, you can apply these, like if you have, remember a couple crops ago we were using, I did a demo using the glue pad for stamping. Um, we're going over stencils, you can use that glue pad for any of you who had bought that glue pad, you can use that for applying on um, the, the shimmer flakes, these Aurora Flakes. Um, you can stamp an image and apply these on. The same technique, it's the exact same technique, you just would use a glue pad instead, or you could take your glue pad and put it over top of a stencil and get the same um, effect. Or any of your adhesives. So if you remember the foiling technique that we did with the sheets of foil, um, all of those concepts would work with this as well. So you can use your strips of score tape and make a border. You can use your foam dots, your pop dots. You can use your glue pen, like we were talking about earlier, how it's a two-way glue pen. So if you use the glue pen and then let that glue dry until it's tacky, you can use that to apply these gilding flakes. So there's so many opportunities, so many potential ways to apply these flakes onto projects. And they're really fun because they're dual toned, either with a gold or a silver base. Um, and they're just, they're gorgeous. I, I'm having a hard time being able to show the coloring, like the, the mixed colors in there um, on screen, but the coloring is just beautiful. And it's a great shimmer, a very nice finish. And they just like really pop on your projects when I'm not showing it through a, a screen, but you actually can see it in real life. They're just, they're stunning. So that is Aurora Flakes and that is how you adhere them. Does anybody have any questions?